The football world saying goodbye to the man who brought the NFL to the Valley of the Sun. Bill Bidwell laid to rest in Phoenix. A who's who of the NFL on hand to say goodbye to longtime Cardinal owner Bill Bidwell. His love of the league, I was fortunate to be able to work with him for many years and um, it was a privilege and it was certainly an honor to be here today. Commissioner Roger Goodell helping with the eulogy and a long list of current and former Arizona Cardinal players in attendance along with executives from around the NFL, including longtime friend, New York Giants owner John Merrill. Our families go back for many, many years with somebody that I had a great deal of admiration and respect for, just a, a gentleman of quiet dignity who did things uh, the right way all the time and never looked for any attention. We didn't win a whole bunch of games, but the character and the culture of the team as you can see, as many guys have come back to celebrate his life, the impact that he had, and what brought me to tears is just a reminder of what type of father he was. And not just a father to his immediate family, but his second family, which are the Cardinals. Bidwell would probably have been embarrassed by the magnitude of the event. We heard the story of a man who didn't want credit for his charity work and who was a champion of diversity. In 2019, it is trendy and fashionable to talk about inclusion and the importance of gender and racial equality. But as evidenced by the signature bow tie that so many of us are wearing here today, Mr. B never had much interest in being trendy or fashionable. <laughs> he gave great advice around key decisions we made in our lives. Be nice to people, be a gentleman, and my absolute favorite, the best revenge is living well. Bill Bidwell is survived by five children, ten grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. I'm Mark McClune for Arizona's Family.